A real quick summer photography tip. A summer for a lot of folks involves trips to beaches or areas around water. And one of the things you want to do with your expensive DSLR is keep it fairly protected. Now there are really expensive waterproof housings out there. Most of the good ones cost more than the camera itself, but they do offer amazing underwater quality. We're not talking about going under the water. We're really just kind of talking about protecting it from spray, a little bit of splash now and then, and especially if you go to the beach, sand. Sand can be really, really nasty. Those small grains can get into a lot of little nooks and crannies on your camera and really cause some havoc. I'm not saying don't take your camera to the beach because the beach often offers some beautiful photography situations and some really fun moments, especially with young kids. Uh, so you should take your camera, but you should also bring along something like this. This is just a gallon Ziploc and um, this is a fairly cheap one. If you wanted to get a little bit more fancy, you could go for one of the uh, stronger industrial strength ones. But when you're not using your camera, it should be sealed up inside this Ziploc bag. And a gallon sized works really nicely for holding a DSLR. I have the T4i with the 18 to 135 on here right now. If you want to get fancy with this tip, on this other bag here, I snipped off just a bit of the front corner. And now when I shove this in here, got to make sure it's on the right corner, and I zip it shut, I can poke the lens out just a little bit. And you know, again, getting even fancier, you could put a little bit of rubber band around here to add a little addition. One of the things really nice about shooting with a DSLR is as long as the lens is clear of any material, all of the camera's functions are going to work just fine. Maybe you'll have a little problem firing the infrared remote if you're using that um, through a Ziploc bag. But it's going to work at a shorter range. But you can still see through the viewfinder. You can still see and touch the uh, LCD on the back of the camera. And it's fairly protected. Now again, sandy situations, you still want to be really careful about this. And that is one of those times where a cheap UV filter might be nice if you're really going to be at the beach. Or you can be careful. So this was just a real quick tip of how you can protect your camera gear at the beach or by the pool this summer. You may look a little goofy, but you know what? Coming home with a nice clean camera is going to be um, a lot better than coming home with something covered in sand that you've paid uh, lots of money for. Another tip is uh, if you're at the beach and you're worried about your camera getting too hot, you can use a clean, dry, cooler bag to keep your camera in. Um, that will kind of keep the temperature regulated in there. And that's also nice because that doesn't scream steal me. If there's uh, some folks kind of casing the beach, they're not going to be looking to steal cooler bags. Usually they're going to be looking to steal things that look like nice camera bags um, that probably have cameras in them. So that's another uh, bonus tip for you. If you've got any questions about protecting your camera, um, waterproof bags, anything of that sort, just leave a comment down below or come over and find me on Facebook page. We're really close to the spring into summer giveaway. We're just a few days away from that. So if you haven't entered yet, there's a link down below this video to do so. And uh, the drawing will be on Friday, June 21st, which is the first day of summer. I think that's right. 20, 19, 20, 21. Yes. All right. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. I got lots more tips coming, including practical at the beach photography tips, not just how to keep your camera protected. Thank you.